When you begin to let go, you actually physically, mentally, and spiritually make room for new things to enter your life because you can't make room for new things if you're still holding on to and focusing on the old things. <laughs> Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Meditation with Chris. I'm Chris and in today's video, how to let go. What are some ways that we can let go of what's no longer serving us so we can make room for things that will? Because a lot of times we're holding on to and we're focusing, focusing on things that aren't serving us any longer. We're placing our attention on the things that are bringing us down, on the things that are holding us back and the things that are actually preventing us from being where we truly want to be, from being where we're truly meant to be. Now this could be self-limiting beliefs. Maybe it's like you're just holding on to something physically or you're focused on some something ex external, right? Something outside of yourself that's not serving you. And you know it deep down. You know deep down if something isn't serving you any longer. But a lot of times we're holding on to things because it's all that we know. It's in our comfort zone, right? And it's all that we know. We've been doing it for so long and we have these autopilot thoughts and we're on autopilot each and every day doing the same things every single day that we used to do. Right? That's why in this video I'm going to show you how to break that cycle and begin to let go of the things that aren't serving you any longer so you can make room for new things that are trying to make their way into your life. And sometimes there are a lot of things that are trying to, a lot of beautiful things that are trying to make their way into our life, but we're just holding on to things that aren't serving us any longer and we can't even see or perceive of the things that are trying to make their way to us because we're still focused on the old thing, right? And you can't perceive of what's happening on 98.1 vibrationally, right? This is an energetic thing, guys. You can't perceive of what's happening on this channel if you're over here only focused on, you know, 68.2, <laughs> a different channel, right? It's all a vibrational tuning, right? So at the core essence of how this works, guys, everything is energy. And when you place your attention and your focus on certain things, you're literally directing your life force energy into it. Not only that, but it is going to expand in your reality and you're going to create more of this experience, right? You'll be practicing the vibration of whatever it is that you are placing your attention and your focus on. You're practicing the vibration of the things that you don't want to experience if that's where your attention is and if that's what you are focused on, okay? So in this video, I've got four ways to begin to let go of the things that aren't serving you any longer so you can physically, mentally, and spiritually make room for new things that will serve you, right? So what's the first thing that I got for us for today? What's the first way, first most powerful way to let go of the things that aren't serving you so you can make room for what will? The first thing you gotta do is just trust. Trust that there's more to your story and trust that there is more to your life at the other chapter. There's more for you to experience on chapter two if you quit rereading chapter one. And just trusting in this knowing can lift a huge weight off of you because a lot of people, right, we think as we said before, we get into this cycle, into this autopilot cycle of this is all that we know. We're stuck in our comfort zone and the, the comfort zone could be the catalyst to your demise if you're not careful. And it's always in the unknown. It's always in trusting in the unknown where you have the most freedom to expand, where the unknown is always going to be your greatest escape, right? <laughs> the unknown, the beautiful unknown, right? So the first thing you got to do is just trust in your story. Trust that there is more to your story at the next chapter. Trust that there is more for you to experience and there is more for you to become and, and tune into and become and move into, right? So that's the first thing you got to do to let go of what's no longer serving you any longer. Start realizing that there is more for you to become and there is more for you to experience when you let go of the things that aren't serving you any longer, you'll begin to see how magically and how fast these new things begin to enter your life, okay? So that's the first thing that I got for us for today. Now, what's the second way to let go of the things that aren't serving you any longer so you can make room for new things? The things that are trying to make their way into your experience that you can't perceive of them because you're so focused on the old things. The second thing that you gotta do is just realize that you create your reality and you are the only creator of your reality. Nothing outside of you creates your reality for you. You are the only one deliberate creator of your reality. And a lot of people will feel like this is a problem for them. We're like, okay, so I've been creating this problem. I've been creating this situation for a long, long time now. But that's actually the most freeing thing that you can understand is that you are the creator of your reality. And with that being said, you can change what you are creating. You can change what you have been creating. You can 
take your power back by taking your focus and taking your attention back. As we said before, all this energy, even money is energy, this is why we call it currency. Right? But when you place your attention on something, you're directing your energy into it. As we said before, it's an energy exchange. So, second thing you gotta do is realize that you create your own reality through your focus, through where you place your attention. And you can let go of what's no longer serving you any longer by placing your attention on things that will, things that inspire you, things that actually make you feel good, things that resonate with your soul and set your soul on fire, the things that you knew you came here to really do, right? <laughs> Start placing your attention and your focus on who you knew you came here to be. And you'll start to see how fast your dream reality begins to manifest for you, right? And a lot of times we're looking at what is, we're looking at the things that we have been creating because everything that's here now is a result of what you have been creating for a long, long time, right? So a lot of times we're looking at what is and we're saying, well, how can I tune into what's becoming if clearly what's, what is, is is here and like I'm feeling it and it's bothering me, right? All you gotta do is notice more of what you do want. Instead of noticing more and placing your attention and practicing the vibration, right? Because when you tune into something, you always become whatever it is that you're tuning into. You start to become this. You start to practice the vibration of it. And your vibration is always a mix between your thoughts, your feelings, and actions. But law of attraction is always bringing you things into your experience that resonate with the vibration that you are. With the vibration that you are. So what you gotta do is you gotta start tuning into and this is actually the art of allowing or deliberate creation at its best, right? You start to tune into the things that will be, tune into the parts of you that are becoming instead of what is. But accept what is first before you start tuning into new realities and new things. Accept what is and realize that you have created everything that is here in your present moment, but the power is always yours and you can begin to create new experiences for you with the drop of a dime because every moment is a new moment. Every moment is a new moment. Every moment is a new, mo a new moment and you are who you choose to be in the present moment, all right? So that's the second thing that you gotta do to let go of the things that aren't serving you any longer, physically, mentally, and spiritually. Make room for new things, for the things that will inspire you and uplift you, all right? Now, what's the third thing that I got for us for today? This kind of ties into the other two as well, but really allow the process and trust that Everything in this universe is happening in divine order for a reason that best serves your highest good. There are no accidents or coincidences in this universe. There are no accidents. The universe is way too smart for that one. Even when you find yourself in contrasting experiences or contrasting situations that don't feel so good, just know that they are serving you because they are teaching you more about yourself and getting you more clear, getting you more clear on what it is that you do want to experience, what you do want to create. But just allow the process. That's the third thing that I got for us for today. Just allow the process and trust the timing of your life and trust that the right things will come to you at the right time so long as you are in alignment with who it is that you truly are, <laughs> right? I always say that as long as you are being your true core authentic self, you will always attract the right things at the right time that are truly meant for you. And if you want it, then it's meant for you because you're the creator, right? <laughs> now, what's the fifth and final thing that I got for us? The fourth, sorry, what's the fourth? And final thing that I got for us for today, the fourth way to let go of what's no longer serving you, to make room for what will, spiritually, energetically, vibrationally, right? A lot of times we're holding ourselves apart from our blessings, from creating and moving into who we knew, who we know that we're meant to be because we don't trust in our worthiness. We don't trust that we are worthy enough to have these experiences. We don't trust that we are able to experience the life that we knew we came in to live. A lot of times we just have a lack of self-worth. We have a lack of believing in oneself. And a lot of times practicing that vibration will hold us apart from what it is that we know we came here to be, from what we know is making its way to us. But you literally can't perceive of it if you don't believe that you're worthy of it because you won't actually be that version of yourself. You see, you gotta be the change that you wish to see in the world. You gotta be the version of you that you wish to be. And when you start moving into that vibration of who you really are, you start being that version of yourself, you'll emit a vibrational frequency and everything around you will begin to fall into place that aligns with that vibrational frequency, right? So those are the four things that I got for us for today, the four ways to let go of what's no longer serving you, to, to mentally, physically, and spiritually make room for what will. I really hope you enjoy this video. Peace and love. Namaste. I'll see you guys next time.